A frequently asked question is, can an electric toothbrush get wet? And the short answer is yes. In most instances, an electric toothbrush can get wet. However, it's not quite as simple as that, and it can depend on the toothbrush that you have. So continue watching to find out more. So as I suggest, in the vast majority of cases, an electric toothbrush can get wet. And what I mean by wet is a toothbrush should survive a quick rinse under the tap, a splash for some water, a splash from toothpaste and saliva that it is naturally going to be exposed to. In the vast majority of cases, manufacturers have designed their toothbrushes to be protected against some moisture. However, it can vary from one particular toothbrush or one particular brand of toothbrush to another. So it's important to check the manufacturer's specifications and or the manual that comes provided with your electric toothbrush because it really can differ and the amount of water that they can be exposed to differs as well. Now in the vast majority of cases, whilst the electric toothbrush has protection from water, most manufacturers will, as a safety precaution, suggest that you don't use them whilst bathing. So if you specifically want to use your toothbrush in the shower or the bath, you better check the rating that your manufacturer gives to your electric toothbrush. Now, another thing to note is that many people use the term water resistant and waterproof interchangeably, when in fact they mean two different things. Waterproof will generally mean that water will never affect the electric toothbrush, where water resistant will mean that the toothbrush will resist water or moisture ingression to a certain point. However, there will come a time where that water will become too much and the toothbrush could fail. Now, in the case of an electric toothbrush, we don't really need to worry too much about those subtleties, but I will give you a little bit of extra context here. So the key thing to note is I really don't recommend, unless the manufacturer explicitly states it, to use your toothbrush in the shower or the bath. You definitely want to avoid actually submerging the toothbrush fully. You can generally get away with it in the shower because the water is dripping off the toothbrush and the uh, toothbrush is not consistently underwater. Don't leave your toothbrush in the bottom of the bath. That's generally not recommended and it will likely fail and potentially could cause the risk of electrocution. Now, the way in which the water resistance or protection, if you like, of an electric toothbrush is rated is via a scale known as an IEP rating. This is an internationally recognized scale that applies to many different devices and products. Essentially, an IP rating is made up of two parts, a protrusion protection and a moisture protection. So you'll see an IP rating of IP followed by two numbers, and those two numbers range from zero through to nine. The first number refers to the protrusion protection, whilst the second number refers to the moisture protection. We're more specifically interested in the second number, the moisture protection. Now, typically with an electric toothbrush, you're going to see them rated as IPX4 through to IPX7. So generally IPX4, IPX5, IPX6, IPX7. And that 4, 5, 6, 7 number actually relates to the amount of water they can withstand. So an IP4 rating, for example, means a toothbrush can withstand persistent splashes for up to a period of 10 minutes. Whereas an IP7 rating means that the toothbrush can withstand 30 minutes submerged in water between a depth of 15 centimeters and one meter. So as you can see, there's quite a considerable bit of difference in terms of what a toothbrush can withstand with those IP ratings. Whilst it doesn't necessarily apply in all cases, Generally, the more you pay or the more premium brand you go for, the better the water protection is going to be, but that is not a guarantee. But the vast majority of toothbrushes are gonna to certainly withstand a quick splash of water and a rinse under the tap, but there are certainly products that can withstand a lot more water. You just need to be clear whether your toothbrush falls into that category. So refer to your manufacturer's description, product specification, or the manual. So I hope you found this video useful. If you have any comments or queries, do leave them below. For more videos like this, click subscribe. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up. But until next time, thanks for watching.